hello everyone today in this video i'm going to remove the extra stuff from the administrator so now let's uh, close all of our files from there i'm going to just open the auth blade this one i'm going to first clear the sidebar stuff right so here uh, let me hide this out so here we have a post and icon so let me set the not here man want to set this icon mm, icons okay let's uh, remove this icons i also don't want this don't want this don't want this okay so let's remove them we have a dashboard so let me attach the dashboard link here dashboard okay and uh, here we need to display the login user name right so what's the how you can get the login user this will be auth and then user so it will return the login user and then you can get the login user name so here i'm going to remove its role i don't want to add this role because we don't have and uh, yes so our i think login name is admin oh it says that uh, attempt to read property on null uh, we don't uh, uh, our admin is not logged in so let's go to the web.php file and here uh, we in the dashboard we applied the auth middleware but uh, it's not too logged in weird stuff uh, name and we added the middleware auth and auth is basically going to check that uh, we are logged in or not so let me go to the login page it's going to redirect me on the login page but if i go here and type out slash dashboard okay it's redirecting me now on the home page so when i refresh it it's so i uh, took a lot of time um, i did not refresh this web page that's why it's behaving like this so now i'm going to i can't visit this or uh, slash dashboard so here i'm going to log in as the uh, nazi let's log in and it's going to display the user name okay so let me view the user name here okay we don't have any user so let me go to the cedar and check that what's the user here i'm adding the user so go to the database migration not migration go to cedars database cedar okay i'm not adding any user so let's create the user cedar here php or tsn make make a cedar and i'm going to call this oh i think it's uh, we created this for the factory we created its factory let's go here and yes we have factory uh, but i don't want to i want to create the cedar user cedar okay so here this one is user cedar and in the user cedar i want to create the user so user call the create method and the create i'm going to pass an array and here i'm going to define all the parameters i'm going to paste them because i copied them from there so here i'm going to first pass the value of uh, admin and uh, the email would be the i'm not going to generate this fake mail i'm going to pass this dev at the rate of cdl cell.com verified it password would be the one two eight so here i'm going to add the hash uh, make which is used for encryption and i'm going to pass one two three four five six seven eight password and i'm also going to add its role right so uh, what's the uh, name of the role here uh, no i don't have any roles right let's go here we have a password and let me add this str at the top so use 
helps illuminate and supports and uh, then add this str here right so now it's good and i need to execute it here when i'm calling this so category seater i also want to call this so user seater okay save this one and here let's run this again php artisan migrate fresh and then see it i'm not going to migrate fresh i just want to make this db seat it will create the six categories because it's so we already have the uh, categories so now it's going to create the dev user and yes if i go here let's uh, let me add this out or not now okay and dev at the rate of cdl cell and 128 password is there already because i prefilled with this so uh, here top extension and yes i'm redirected on the dashboard where i'm displaying the name of the login user and i removed everything from there that's great okay so everything is there we can certainly switch this and uh, this search functionality is uh, not choosing so i'm going to remove this out I'm also going to remove these stuffs okay now let's uh, close this out to uh, this one and close this web.php file right and uh, here i'm going to remove extra stuff okay so where it is so let's uh, first find them i'm going to start it in the search bar after this name we don't have this uh, don't want to use this activity log right we also don't want to use this on the if uh, maybe i want to use this on the full screen that's why i'm going to remain this here i don't want to use this messages functionality to remove this out and uh, notification and uh, i want to make this sign out sign out log out there and uh, spacing i don't want to use this out uh, btn self no i don't want to use this uh, maybe i don't know why this button okay and uh, yes this one I removed uh, everything this button is working and yes so now let's remove this david from there let me remove this list for item list item okay and before this i also want to remove this search bar okay let me remove this full div no 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 i need this full div uh, md search button oh i need to remove this full div because it's going to just remove this thing no both one are removed and it's working fine so we don't have any input we can view this in the full screen here we can log out our user and we can also remove this extra stuff from this dashboard here we want to only display the categories display the post and users and stuff like that right so now let's also work on a visit and sale remove these stuff from there so this one is coming from the admin dashboard so let's go here and visit this dashboard so here in the dashboard uh, visitor and uh, visit and sales static yes this one so i don't want to add this this row this row uh, remove these rows from there let's get refresh and yes our theme is working fine so here i want to display the number of posts number of users and number of categories so let me check the video size no it's not going bigger i'm going to go to the dashboard controller and in the dashboard i'm going to get the uh, post uh, posts count okay so i'm going to uh, call the post uh, model and here i'm going to call this count help so it will count the total post here i'm going to categories count 
or we can say that uh, category count uh, um, category categories count category count is i think more descriptive category and this one also post make them singular here i'm going to call the category i'm going to call this count and then also going to count the users right so user going to call this count here and uh, just pass them as compact okay first pass the post uh, count then category count okay and then user users user count right uh, make them same convention user count and let's go to the dashboard and here i'm going to display the uh, total post display the post and uh, uh, there i need to display the counting yes in the 15th one here i need to display the counting so i'm going to display this here like this and remove this so three says and let's get refresh And yes, it's having only one post. Uh, I think I need to remain this so uh, decrease by or I need to add this like uh, uh, forever. So it will displaying not monthly, it will displaying the forever user count, right? If it's uh, counting it from whenever he's created the system, it's displaying all of the user, not monthly, weekly or stuff like that. Uh, not user it will be displaying the post or if this post count okay let's add this uh, forever also here and also here okay and then in the weekly order i need to add this uh, the category count and here oh uh, where I call this let me cut this out oh weekly order so I need to display here categories okay and I need to display the counting here and then this will be forever is good and here I'm going to display the uh, display the total users of the system and here would be the user count right so this would be a user count whatever so now let's save this one and check that is it working properly or not and yes it's working properly right you know, for users whenever and stuff like that you can also remove this so uh, thing from there and update the year I'm going to do this you can also remove this overview but it's looking pretty right so now i'm going to improve the routes right so let's go to the web.php file and here i'm going to improve the routes so uh, here we have uh, we are using this website controller for these two routes so now let's create one route and uh, uh, reuse this code so here i'm going to use the uh, controller method i'm going to use this uh, website controller class and here i'm going to call this group right function and i'm going to call this uh, lawyer and here let's uh, copy these both ones paste them here right and now we don't need to mention its uh, controller right so here we need to remove this uh, remove its arrow symbol from there so we have only a path a helper name and this route name so we added this website controller at the top so uh, laravel knows that this uh, one is using this controller and uh, this one is also using this same thing so here we are using this thing so let's save this one and check that our website is working or not and yes our website is working as expected great we successfully improved this uh, based on laravel 9 and here we have a contact us page which is hardcoded uri so let me add this so uh, like this okay and here these are the auth routes 
and here these are both one are using auth right and uh, this one is using auth so here i'm going to create a group route for this one route okay get and this one is also using the uh, not get i'm going to add the prefix right prefix of what i'm going to make this prefix because we are using this for the both one so here i'm going to use this uh, auth and in the auth uh, uh, basically i'm not going to use this auth for this one i'm going to no i'm going to use this and here in the as i can use this uh, auth here like auth dot but uh, i'm not going to use this out because here in the whenever we have uh, this auth slash post to names we are not using this auth in the name so route to list let me tell you what i'm going to tell you okay so here we have a route of auth slash post but whenever we have a post and uh, we have a name so we don't have auth here so this one is controlled by this here whenever you um, call this as so this will be applied on its parent uh, its child route right so i'm going to remove this one because i want to manually add this only on the ones i don't want to add this on this one right that's why i'm going to remove this out and here one more thing i want to apply the middleware here i want to apply this one and this one also this one already contain the middleware but i want to apply them on the both ones because uh, simple user can't view the administrator post so what's the hidden middleware you can add this auth if you have multiple middleware you need to add uh, array like this and you can add this like this i'm going to make this similar for this so make this remain for and here i'm going to call this like this and now you need to cut them out and paste them here and uh, here you need to now you don't need to add this auth you need to don't need to also auth here and do dashboard and you don't need to add this middleware here anymore right Auth dot dashboard and this one is looks fine right now let's visit the admin and everything is going to work again as working it's so uh, uh, it's so uh, again working it's before okay okay and yes everything is working fine so this video size is not going bigger and uh, we successfully completed our series and hope you enjoyed this series because i shooted this in the real environment and if i am facing any of the issue i am sharing it with you i am not pausing the video so that is the uh, key things to learn for our beginners right even intermediate can also learn that how i am coding uh, i am uh, discussing uh, i am uh, thinking something and then applying it on the project so you are uh, uh, th uh, maybe you feel that uh, you are uh, uh, you are studying with me uh, dedicatedly right so this is the way that's why i always prefer for this for the especially for the beginner so they can learn a lot from hope they will learn a lot from this series whenever they will watch this series and uh, thank you so much for uh, for the part of cdl and uh, stay tuned and uh, share my videos with your friends so in this way you can support me and then uh, I will try to shoot more videos on the different topics which are unclear and you can also suggest me different topics that uh, uh, you want to uh, learn and you don't know you don't have any resource or you don't uh, uh, you don't uh, have any resource for this one and uh, you don't uh, uh, have ability to read it from the documentation so you can uh, shoot this in the comments uh, comment box i will try to shoot uh, these videos in my next schedule so thank you so much again and i will meet you in the next series bye bye guys